All right, rapid fire Q and A. So we have some questions here uh, that I've that I've chosen to uh, to roll with, and so we're gonna fire through them one by one. And uh, yeah, here we go. When cutting, is it smart to refeed or to use refeeds? The answer is yes. Um, so the quick answer that I think why you're the, the, the root of this question was to enhance training performance while cutting. So in saying that, as you are in a deficit and the deeper in the deficit you get, and typically the lower carb you get, the less like muscle glycogen stores that you have, the less energy reserves you have uh, to not only get through your day as a human, I mean, we're talking work, relationships, responsibilities, and then the gym, you're looking at having a l very little left in the tank. So refeeds in terms of that can be quite powerful. And so I would look, I would look into implementing refeeds um, more often. I would look deeper into diet breaks and this has been studied quite heavily over the last um, over the last few years, or research has been surfacing over the last last few years on on diet breaks. And the the thing I like about diet breaks is having kind of these four to one ratioed um, blocks. So four weeks of dieting, one week into a diet break. So if you're looking at a four week training training block or training phase, and then you take a week off to deload use that deload as sort of this diet break or as this refeed, if you will, and take some mental time away from dieting, uh, give yourself um, that benefit of the diet break because we've seen adherence increase with diet breaks. We've seen your ability to be prolonged into a diet. Um, with diet breaks. So in saying that, I think diet breaks, use refeeds, but also use diet breaks. 